Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to explain part 168 of Java for tester series, that is constructor chaining. So what is constructor chaining? So what is constructor chaining? So in order to understand the constructor chaining, let me diagrammatically explain you guys. Okay. So let's say that there are two classes. Okay. Let's say that there are two classes here. The name of the first class, let's name it as parent class. Okay. And this one is, let's say child class. Okay. There are two classes. I am naming the first class as parent class and second class as child class. And I really want to make this first class as a parent class and the second class as a child class of the parent class by using extends parent class okay by doing this this child class will become the child class of this particular parent class okay that's fine now in this kind of situation where we have a parent class and a child class okay a parent class and its child class inside the parent class let's say there is a constructor okay there is a constructor public some parent class okay like this there is a constructor constructor will have the same name as the class name so this is a constructor one of the constructor is there inside the parent class same time child class also has a constructor okay let's create a constructor for the child class also child class constructor here child class constructor is also having the same name same name as its class name you see child class child class like this now in this kind of situation guys if I create an object for this child class, okay. Child class C is equal to okay. Child class C object, let's say, is equal to new child class. Like this, if I create an object for the child class, what will happen, guys? When I when I create an object for this child class, what is going to happen? What will happen, guys? So here, when you create an object for the child class, this child class constructor will be called, right? This child class constructor will be called from here. So we generally think that this constructor will be called, right? So we generally think that this constructor will be called, but as part of the constructor chaining process, as part of the constructor chaining process, okay, what will happen is when you call the when you create an object for the child class and child when, when child class constructor is being called okay it will go here but it will not it will not execute this child class constructor first guys okay the control will go to the parent class first the parent class constructor will be called then the child class constructor will be called okay so you see what's happening here when i create an object for the child class the child class constructor will be called here but in reality as part of this constructor chaining before the child class constructor is executed its parent class constructor will be executed guys okay the control will even though the child class constructor is called here okay before executing this child class constructor first the control will go to the parent class constructor after this constructor got executed after the parent class constructor got executed then only the child class constructor will be executed okay so this is nothing but this is nothing but constructor chaining guys okay we generally think that when you create an object for the child class, only child class constructor will be called and executed. We generally think like, but that is not, that will not happen in the real time, guys. When you create an object for the child class, and when the child class constructor is called, it will first invoke the parent class constructor and execute it. Then only the child class constructor will be executed. Okay. This kind of connection will be there, guys. Okay. So that process or this uh, kind of thing is known as constructor chaining. Let me explain you practically, guys, so that you can understand how the parent class constructor will be in, uh, invoked and executed before executing the child class constructor when you create an object for the child class okay let me practically show you so for that let's create uh, two classes uh, that is one is parent class let's name it as parent class okay i'm just naming this class as parent class i can name it as class a also it's up to you and here inside this uh, class i'm just going to create a constructor let's say the constructor name is parent class parent class constructor okay so system dot out dot print ln i will simply say inside parent 
class constructor okay like this okay inside parent class constructor so when this parent class constructor is executed inside parent class constructor text will be printed in the output console okay now let's create another class and i'll call this class as a child class okay you can name it as a child class or class b up to you and uh, i'll drag it here so that you can see both the classes together fine now here inside this child class also i'll create a constructor child class okay the name of the constructor will be same as the name of the class like this now inside this system dot out dot print ln i will simply say inside child class constructor okay and now i want to make this uh, class a child class of this parent class how to make it guys I have to use extends parent class then the child class will become the real child of this parent class okay fine things are good now guys now let's create another class for creating an object for the child class that is i'll create some class name demo and i will select this uh, main main method to be created along with that i'll drag it here so inside this main method inside this main method of this demo class i will try to create an object for this child class so child class some c object is equal to new child class so guys what will happen when i run this uh, demo.java so this main method will be executed and uh, control uh, will go to the main method and it will start executing from the main method and this uh, object creation statement of the child class will be executed first as while the object of this child class gets created okay during that process this child class constructor will be called invoked okay it looks like the child class constructor will be invoked okay but which one will be executed first so we generally think that only inside child class constructor will be displayed in the output but that is not going to happen guys when you when you create an object for the child class and when the child class constructor is called okay so before this child class uh, constructor get, gets executed it will first invoke the its parent class constructor because this child class is extending this parent class so the control will go from here to here okay before this child class constructor got executed so parent class constructor will be executed its parent class constructor will be executed first guys so inside parent class constructor will be printed first then the control will go, go, go to the child class constructor and then inside child class constructor will be printed okay so this is called as constructor chaining guys okay so when you create an object for the child class instead of only the child class constructor being executed it will first in, invoke the parent class constructor after the parent class constructor got executed then the child class constructor will be executed fine so let's uh, see this in action guys okay if i run this you will see that uh, first uh, inside parent class constructor will be printed then inside child class constructor will be printed to prove our to prove our theory okay inside parent class constructor you see first parent class constructor got invoked then child class constructor got invoked okay you see you can see the statements here here you have created an object for the child class but uh, not the child class constructor is only executed it, it will first invoke the parent class and constructor and executed then child class constructor will be invoked and executed okay this is the proof for that fine what if what if uh, in the child class constructor we have a parameterized constructor let's say okay apart from this no arc no ox uh, constructor okay in the child class we have a parameterized constructor like this child class some int a okay some int a system dot o dot print ln inside single parameterized child class constructor having value what is the value guys this a is a value so i'll give the value as a plus a okay like this fine in this case so in this case where the child class is having two constructors one is a no arguments or no parameter no parameters constructor and another one is a single parameter constructor now in this kind of case guys if i give some nine here okay while creating the object instead of calling the no parameters constructor if i am calling the constructor having a single parameter like this child class of nine so what will happen guys the same thing will happen guys that is when this object gets created for the child class this child class constructor having the single parameter will be called okay it looks like that but internally what will happen is 
even though this child class constructor having the single parameter is called it will not be executed first guys it will invoke the parent class constructor first and after this parent class constructor is executed then only the single parameterized child class constructor will be executed okay you will see that in action so first what will be printed when i run this program now when i create an object for the child class and uh, the constructor of the child class is like uh, having a single parameter the calling statement of the constructor is having a single argument so this will call this one right but here in reality what's going to happen is before this particular single parameterized child class gets executed it will invoke the parent class constructor after this parent class constructor is executed completely then only the single parameterized constructor in the child class will be executed okay so inside par uh, parent class constructor will be printed first then inside single parameter child class constructor having value whatever the value of s that is 9 will be printed okay right click run as java application you can see that in action inside parent class constructor then inside single parameterized child class constructor having value 9 so this is all about the constructor chaining guys okay even though you create an object for the child class its parent class constructor will be executed first then the child class uh, the called uh, child class constructor will be executed later okay this is called as constructor chaining so that's it guys in the next video session i'll continue the constructor chaining process in a different way where i'll be using this super call okay super call statement to invoke the constructor of parent class okay i'll show you how to use the super call to invoke a constructor of a parent class in the next video session so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye